Hi everyone! So I have realized that for a while I haven't used my gel plate, so I thought to use it for the project today. The paper on which I will be working comes from the slimline double layer paper pack and of course I will be using some acrylics. The colors which I have prepared to use are clotted cream, kermit, breeze and mermaid, though at the end I won't be using the clotted cream. I am putting the paints randomly and spreading it with my brayer and to make some background uh, interest I will be using this which comes from some kind of candy box packaging and of course some bubble wrap. Now you will see how my first print looks like and to be honest I quite liked it but I wanted the colors to be somewhat a bit inten more intense so I will repeat the whole process once more. After gel printing I wanted to show you the images which I have chosen as my focal points and they all come from the Golden Oldie collector's book. Here you can see how I approximately planned my layout but now it came time to work some more on my background. For that purpose I chose the Wildflowers stamp set which comes from the Back to Nature collection and stamped it with archival link. I decided not to color my flowers, just to put some white details on it. Anyway, for some more uh, background work, I chose to work with one stamp from the Autumn Flourish stamp set, which is from the Mixed Up collection, and also stamped it with archival ink. Now I wanted some big and bold sentiment, so I chose a word smile, which comes from the text play stamp set, which is from Bold and Bright collection. Now my first print wasn't as perfect as I wanted it to be, but that's okay because I'm gonna fix it with a black Posca pen. And of course add some highlights with a white gel pen. Now this brings my project to its end. One last thing which I did was to adhere my card to the black card background, which also comes from the slimline pe paper pack. <laughs> Actually, I almost forgot, I did one more last detail, and that's to use the glossy accents to make my snail's glasses look more like real glasses. Anyway, you will see what I mean on the end photos. And that's it. I hope you find my project inspiring and I wish you all a nice day. Bye!